Welcome to Path to Playout, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. My name is Brandon Adams. This is Mike Johnson looking ahead to the big matchup between the Clemson Tigers, the Alabama Crimson Tide in the Sugar Bowl. Clemson the one seed, Alabama the four seed. And Mike, when you look at the Alabama offense in this game, one of the criticisms of the last time we saw the Crimson Tide against Auburn was not enough running plays for the running backs, maybe too many running plays for Jalen Hurts, the quarterback. Is there a chance that Brian Dable, the Alabama offensive coordinator, can get that corrected in time for what's going to happen against Clemson, one of the best defensive lines in the country? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think you come in with a little bit different circumstances. I think Brian Dable, what he's doing is dialing up running plays where Jalen Hurts has the option to hand it off or kind of take it himself. And a lot of the times against Auburn in the last couple of games, he has taken it himself. Does Brian Dable take it upon himself to say, hey, hand this ball off, especially against what is considered by a lot of people to be the number one front in college football? And because of that great Clemson defensive front, I think it puts more pressure and more of the spotlight on what I think may be the most underrated position group in the entire country, the Alabama wide receivers. The, uh, that, that group may be the most talented in the entire uh, nation, and really the job is how do you get them the football on January the 1st? Yeah, I think that's going to be the question that a lot of Alabama fans are going to be asking themselves when it comes down to that game. Does Jalen Hurts improve as a passer through December? I know that all eyes are going to be focused on him. I know that Brian Dable is going to do everything they can to get the ball in the hands of a Calvin Ridley, of a Jerry Judy. They have the weapons there. They just have to get the ball out of the pocket and allow these wide receivers to make plays. Even is, these have been exciting high scoring games the last few times these teams meet. Same thing in 2017 as well? I expect it to be right there in the mid 20s to, to low 30s. I think you're going to see a lot of touchdowns, but also a lot of big defensive stops and turnovers possibly. Path to play out presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all, for less. We'll talk to you again soon.